Welcome to PC. I would like to show you today our little laboratory viscometer PC RVI1. The rotation viscometer RVI1 has a measuring range from 10 to 100,000 megapascal seconds with an exactness of plus minus 0.5%. The rotation body 1, the biggest rotation body, is used for the lowest viscosity and this rotation body covers a measuring area of up to 1000 millipascal seconds. The rotation body 2 covers a bit higher measuring area, up to 5000 millipascal seconds. Rotation body 3 goes a step higher, covers a measuring area of up to 20000 millipascal seconds. And rotation body 4, the smallest rotation body, takes the highest measuring areas up to 100,000 millipascal seconds. Now we take a measurement. The groove has reached the surface and then the optimal immersion depth is reached. We start the measurement by easily using the on-off switch and the rotation body starts to measure. The rotation body has reached a constant and we can read the viscosity on the scale. To read the result better, the fixed switch is used and the viscosity meter is turned off. And now the measured result can be read. To get the absolute viscosity out of the measurement, I need a constant. With the help of the chart, I can determine a constant. We have here on the left side, we have four numbers, which are the numbers of the rotation bodies. We have here the rotation size 1, which is a larger rotation body with a rotation speed of 12 the minute gives a rotation factor of 5. I only have to multiply the result with 5 and have the absolute viscosity. How would out of the scale value the right result be determined? For this you must know that the scale of the viscosity meter a percent scale is. I determine first the percent value, in this case 59%. By using a scale, I know through the rotation speed of the rotation body that the measuring area 500 millipascal seconds are. And the measuring result is here exactly 59% of 500 millipascal seconds.